One of the most useful new features Apple included on iOS 16 lets you instantly lift the subject out of photo, separating it from the background. Once extracted, you can paste, save or drop the cutout wherever you want as a new image and you can even make it a sticker in messaging apps. Before, you need to use a third-party app on your iPhone to cut out the subject in the photo but now you can easily lift and cut out objects in pictures without needing an extra app. Apple has built the feature into iOS 16 and it works inside photos, files, messages, Safari and apps that utilize quick look as well as in screenshots. So this video is going to be about how you can take a cutout on an iPhone and change the background or use it for other purposes. So without any further delay, let's get started with the video. Alright, so now I will show you how you can take an object's cutout on iPhone and how you can use it multiple different ways. So let's start. First of all, I will go to photos and that's the picture uh, that I'm going to use for this tutorial. So what you need to do is simply long press on the object and you will see the glow line. Now you will see two options. One is to copy and one is to share. So what does that mean is you can directly share this cutout. On any social media application that you want so press share and you will get all the applications that you have installed on a device all right and you can even share it in messages so this will appear like a sticker all right so that's what you can do it you can directly share it or the other option is if you want to change the background of any image what you need to do is simply have to long press and tap copy now you have to go back and open notes on your device open a new node and now here you need to long press and just paste the cutout that you have just taken after that press done this will save this cutout on in the notes app all right now what you need to do is again long press it you will get the option to share it press that and now scroll down and simply tap on save image once you do that this cutout will get saved in your photos app so if you will go back to photos you will see that the cutout has been saved all right so now the half of the job is done without any struggle now what you need to do next to change the background you can use any app that you want you can use any background you can download it from google or you can use any background if you already have or you can even use free backgrounds that are provided by the third party app so here i'm going to use pixart all right this is the app that i frequently use to change the backgrounds and you can even use the free version or the paid version if you want the app pixart you need to tap the add icon that is given in the middle at the bottom and now here you will get a lot of options if you have already used this application you know how to use it but still i will show you how you can change the background so you will find a lot of free photos and free backgrounds available on this app so i'm going to use that so here are some free photos that you can use for your cutout i'm going to use this one right here as this might suit the cutout that i have taken now once you are here simply use need to scroll towards right at the bottom you will see a few options simply tap on add photo then you have to give access to more photos so select proceed and select the cutout that you want to use press done and now again you have to select the cutout that you want to use for which you want to change the background tap add in the top right and you will see that the cutout has been added to the background now what you need to do is you just need to adjust the shape and size so that it looks real all right so just make sure to make all the adjustments take your time use your skills and just do whatever you want to change the position if you want or anything that you want to experiment with the picture and once you think you are done You can simply tap apply at the top right so this will save the cutout with the background now the and this has been saved now you can further make changes by using filters 
and more effects that has been provided by Pixart or any other uh, third party app that you are using. So you can use effects to make this look more real. All right, that's how you can do it. So these were some of the ways using which you can use this brilliant photo cutout feature available on iOS 16. And that was it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to stay notified of all my latest videos. If you have any doubts, issues or queries related to any of my videos, do let me know in the comment section down below. And for now, I will take the leave. We'll see you the next time.